In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this Betty Flyer right here with Pixel App. So some of you asked for this and this is the tutorial. So you actually know that I normally leave all my elements still on my design page because I don't want this tutorial to take too long. So let's just rush um, this stuff real quick. So this background has been provided for you guys in the description. So you have to be able to import that in Pixel Lab. So I have this here, I'll just place this here. Let me just reduce the size to its normal 100 here and then position it at this top section here. The size is okay here. I'll copy it. Just run real quick. I'll copy this um, this background. I'll go to 3D rotate and I'll rotate it. Sorry. Rotate the Y to the other direction. So it's something like this. So you can use the alignment tool by clicking on it to position this so i just this to align this here they are touching together so i'll place this to the back i'll raise this this one at the top this one here at the top this one here so i'm going to raise this real quick i'll it's selected i'll click on the raise i'll enable this section here this is one that makes this blow increase my brush size the brush is selected i'll increase the size and then I'll clean in this direction here. So I'll just clean in this direction. So I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. So it's not really, it doesn't really matter, but let's just clean. So I'll also clean in this direction. Okay, increase the size. I'll clean in this direction as well. So you can see. Okay, now that I've cleaned, I'll, you know, kind of place them together. So lock both layers. Look, but as the next um, background as at the back there is this one is this one so you can see it here increase the size is fit on this page and we'll reduce the opacity to the opacity to um 15. so like i said this tutorial is actually not hard at all this is not hard let me just place it to the back and then to the front of boots okay since i already have it let me just delete this one and enable this so the next thing i did here was this one the opacity just this the opacity is four let me just show you how i did that real quick so you go to the okay sorry you won't select anything this middle icon here see draw then reduce your pen size select the black color let's see if this one is okay this one is too slim undo this increase the pen size this one is kind of too slim again let me just increase the pen size by one so you see what i did this is what i did this is what i did yeah this is just what i did and click on the check mark icon so i'll cancel this since i already have it so i won't you know make mistake in the opacity let's see the opacity is um so set your own opacity to four and rotate it to 29 if you still want to work with my size my size is 121 the height is 92 but like i said this doesn't really matter so you know so that is not you know the main thing here so you can see this text here at uh, this two section here there's no must include this they won't even show like that but me i i could see them because i was under design is they won't really show like that but anyways let me just tell you the size the size is 159 the size is 156 and the opacity is 7 the opacity is 9 for the second one so it's not a must if you want to include that it's not a must at all so see your image here this is my image and it's centralized so for this i'll still mention it the size is 99 99 so i think everybody should be able to fix this one properly size is 99 99 so you can just see this here 99 99 centralize it see it's never looking a bit centralized but this is how i actually left it here the size is um 99 99 so let's see what we have next okay this is already easy so maybe it was the background that you guys were really wanted to see this is as you can see the tutorial is actually finished so the thing is you guys know i don't um teach you guys how to do text everybody knows how to do text okay let me do this circle uh, cool stuff here i think i how should i put it you might be you might be a little bit offended but please don't be offended this is how i do my tutorials i don't waste time on unnecessary things that i know you guys can already do everyone you can't tell me you don't know how to do a circle shape you can see the circle shape is just placed on top and the size is reduced 
the opacity for the red is um, 48 and the opacity for the white is 35 so let me just show you guys how I did this this two stuff this is actually simple too you supposed you're supposed to be able to do this as well so you can see this here the size face is 10 the size is 10 and the curve curve is 100 so this is it I duplicated this and then um, duplicated this move the curve to the other direction you can see it so sometimes it might not be really really aligned so you just keep on rotating i think i rotated that let me just check for the rotation on that um second part real quick i noticed that once i've done the up curve and duplicate the text for the down curve it doesn't really fit even if you align it so you, i normally rotate mine and the where is the rotate icon it's i rotated it to minus nine so with the same thing i did after the size um use the curve negative 100 and then rotate it to minus nine so the text that was inside was um what is the other text okay which is this yes this is it so i also did um added text to the other section here okay no this is not it but this is just from the basic okay let me imprint my flower real quick let me just disable this one let me import the flower real quick so everybody is um how should i say it i think you guys are aware now you can do this black gradient right let me just show you guys this black gradient everyone should be able to do this but anyways here is how you can do this once again select the shape go to gradient click on the plus this first section here should be black should be black this second section here should be transparent so move this all the way to the middle so you can see here you have it like this so this is what i did i positioned it to this down section here so i'll just delete it this is how you can create that and it's on top of this image it's on top of everything the black gradient just this is on top make sure it's on top of everything so once that is there where is the flower the flower is not a must so you can see this i don't think i should this is something that is not really necessary here so the flower i just kept on rotating it is one flower that is this so there's no point of saying you can do this the flower i rotated this i want you guys to actually practice something else the flower i rotated it to this direction okay let me still tell you the um you know the rotation for this it was six so you can see and the size was um 6359 so you can do that for that let me um, import the second one the second one was um 5350 and the rotation as, as okay this one is actually okay since i'm telling you guys now the rotation was minus 140 141 so let's do the top flower so the top flower for this first section on the left the rotation is one 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 five and the size is um 8076 so let's do the second one second one size is um 8076 as well but the rotation is different which is um minus one one three so this is this for this other section here so let's see what is left okay i've actually this uh, we're already getting finished i've done the flower i've done the down section there so the thing is okay let me just enable the rest text like i said i'm not showing sure guys i did that okay this other line that you guys saw here this dot is actually simple i did this with pixel lab so let me show you guys in case some of you are wondering how it is once you have your text selected click on the one two three section i can see this this is it here this is it here so this is it there's nothing out here in this design at all I'm even, now i'm even wondering why i haven't this tutorial so this is it what again let me enable the rest text and see if i'm missing anything okay this other line that you're seeing here this line that you're seeing here at uh, this section here here so what i did is just this this is it this is what i did white and i duplicated it see on see how many times one two three four five five times and i aligned it there so you're going to do that yourself it's not hard you can't tell me you can't create lines so there's a text here but it's not a most it's not even visible anymore you can see it if you if you can see it you can see it i duplicated this text here and i move it all the way to this section here i reduce the opacity so you can if you want to play with the opacity there let me just tell you guys the opacity is um 60 and it's a white text they are all white the opacity is at 60 so let me just enable all my remaining text real quick so you can see for yourself that this thing isn't hard at all this thing is that just i think it's just the background stuff you guys were 
talking about okay i think i'm missing a text okay yeah this is text this text is in the i provided this in my telegram channel so don't worry text is already there you can see design is simple do well to give me your thought on this design if it's actually simple or if i'm the one that is just saying it's simple so let me just know and again for me i'm totally honest this tutorial is in yard so this is why it's actually different it's the only background that is the main problem here you can't everyone you know, using lab knows how to position text knows how to position um uh, flowers i haven't told you everything concerning the flowers as well and the text so i did most of the thing here too let's see okay that's all but i duplicated this black gradient we did i copied it so i placed one overall on this top section here overall six so you can see the difference in this in this thing so the thing is that what makes a good design this isn't just your design skill alone i've said it one time um, i posted it on facebook on linkedin that it depends on the images so you can see me i'm not bragging but i'm actually good with lightroom that's why this design was able to be like this so you can see see just see the before and the after it's not as if there's any magic <laughs> any magic here it's just the better your image the better the results you are going to get if you're actually good with designing so you can see this let me just so this is it this is it everything is complete there you can see the text i was talking about in this section here it's not even visible it's not really visible this one yes it's not really visible so i have a um some like few tutorials on my youtube channel that you can check to me i just say we wasted time here doing nothing because this tutorial is not hard at all i have a lightroom course you can actually get as well if you still want to you know take your lightroom skills to the next level but before that actually you can see the difference i normally enhance my image first before i edit it so you can see the there's a difference in this image um yeah so i asked it, but I'm, I'm not using remini i'm using replicate.ai you see the video i'll put the link to it on in, in this video description so you guys should just do it to check that out once again give me your honest review on this if you like the way i actually created this tutorial because if i'm being honest to myself the only thing here concerning this tutorial was just background i'll, I'll be honest the image is centralized the text are something you can place yourself and there's nothing really hard here so i hope you found yourself full thank you for subscribing to my channel as well i'll see you guys in my next upload